Hello and welcome to Board Game TV. It's Terror Tuesday. We're playing Elder Tor. And today we're going to be using the Antarctic sideboard because we are playing Rise of the Elder Things. That's who we're playing against. Um, it, the Doom track starts at 16, which is relatively high <clears throat> for these uh, ancient ones. Um, that cult is there. Um, after an investigator resolves an uh, otherworld encounter, he may move to the Plateau of Lang. When you have four mysteries, usually you have to solve three mysteries to win the game, but this one it's four mysteries. When Doom advances, flip this sheet and resolve a Dark God Awakens effect on back. <clears throat> As an encounter, if four mysteries have been solved, an investigator is sitting in front of them when there are clues. Oh. Wait a minute. When Doom advances to zero, okay. <laughs> I place the mystery token on the area of things in place five. Well, we'll get to that when that happens. How about that? Our first mystery is Invasion of the Elder Things. Millennia ago, the Elder Things waged war with the Migo. Research into the conflict has revealed that the beam weapons of the Mingo prove particularly effective against the Elder Things. When this card enters play, place the crazed Elder Thing epic monster on the Miskatonic outpost. Which we did right here. <clears throat> it cannot lose health unless the active investigator has the alien device artifact. When an investigator would gain an artifact, he may gain the alien device artifact instead. At the end of the mythos phase, if the crazed other thing epic monster has been defeated, solve this mystery. So it's gonna be one of them, so <laughs> we gotta hunt, we gotta try to get artifacts. That's what we gotta do. And our active expeditions at the pyramids. And that's what we got to do. We got to get somebody working on artifacts. We have our one gate here in Sydney right now. There's a Sean there. And who are our investigators? Well, we have Jenny Barnes. She came with a boat ticket, 45 automatic, and fine jewelry. Uh, fine jewelry is you may add one to the result of one die when performing an influence test during an acquire assets action. And the 25 automatic is roll one additional die resolving a strength test during combat. As an action, you or another investigator on a city space may perform an acquire assets action and gain plus two during that action. So that's what we want with her. She starts over here in the Caribbean, so we want to move her to a city. Uh, start getting some of these assets here. Once per round, when you or another investigator gains a debt, that investigator may discard that debt. That's a good one there. We have Jim Culver. He starts with a clue token and a shriveling spell. Each investigator on your space recovers one sanity. Investigators on your space roll one additional die when resolving tests during combat. So that's good. And then we have Joe Diamond. He comes with the 32 Colt Pocket. Roll one additional die when resolving a strength during combat. You may re-roll one die when resolving a strength test during combat. Choose an ally, service, or weapon, then discard one asset from the reserve and replace it with one random asset from the deck that has the chosen trait. Once per round, when you prove a skill, also prove one other skill of your choice. Okay, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and go. Um, we want to get Jenny. <clears throat> um, she's actually the strongest of the three. Okay, we want to get... Hmm. We want somebody working on gates. We want Jenny to get some assets, and we want somebody to start working on the active expedition. And I think <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll have Jenny. Um, she can get to the active expedition quicker. So I think what we'll do is we'll spend a, a ship ticket that she started the game with, and she's going to move to Rome. And she's going to try to acquire an asset. And let's see here. She has an influence of four. Wow. And let's see here. Uh, let's see what she can do. Well, she can get three because she can add one. So that's three assets. See, lavish feast, agent of secrets, investment. 
Hmm, a cult game resolving spell effects. Well, that would be a good one for Jim. Hmm. Okay, I think what we'll do is she'll take these two and then we'll replace these. Yeah. And that'll be it for her. <clears throat> okay, so I guess I will have Jim, um, Joe, try to go close the gate. So I guess Jim, oh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with Jim. Let's have him gain a focus. And he's decent at spells. So let's send him to Arkham. And he'll do an influence test. And he has a three influence. So let's see what he can get. Well, he gets one success. And he'll take the whiskey. Mystic Tone. Alright, Joe will gain a focus. And we'll get him moving. Here to the sea and that'll be it for their movement turn all right so Jenny is in Rome <clears throat> let's see what happens a group of black shirts are inter interrogating an old priest and you try to intervene make an influence test well she's good at influence so that's, that's helpful pass if you pass, they let the priest go, and he's eternally grateful. Gain a blessed condition. Well, that's that's good. That's what we want. A, a good condition to start the game off. <clears throat> she is blessed. Alright, Jim is in Arkham. So let's see what happens with him. Uh, you try to convince the manager of the First Bank of Arkham to give you access to a particular safety deposit box. Test influence. Minus one. Oh, we failed. If you pass, gain one magical artifact. If you fail, okay, we'll see now. I'm gonna spin a focus, and I'm gonna re-roll one of these die, and hope I get a success. Shoot, I'll spin my clue, and re-roll, and see if I get a success. Shoot, dang it. Okay, well that was a chance to get a good artifact. Uh, we didn't make it. If you fail, the manager calls a security guard gain a detained condition. Well, that's terrible. Ah, God, man. Terrible rolls. I can tell you now, I don't think this game's going to go good. When you start off... When you start off trouble like that... Come on, where's a detained? Ah, there we go. When you start off in trouble like that, uh, usually it's not good for the rest of the game. Okay, well Joe here is going to have a sea encounter. So let's see what happens with him. <clears throat> the ship's cargo hold is taking on water. The crew asks for your help in repairing the hull. Do a strength test. Well, he has two strength. He passes. <clears throat> if you pass, you spot something useful among the crates. Gain one random item asset from the deck. Okay. <clears throat> a museum director. When you gain this card, gain from the deck or reserve, gain one artifact. Oh, that's... Okay, well, I take that back. Okay. So, <clears throat> he has... He can gain the alien device artifact, which is good. And also, roll one additional Zion resolving a brain test during encounter. Okay, so that's good. So, we can forget him going to get the gates. We'll send uh, somebody else over, either Jim or her, to work on gates. 
and he can go try to defeat the elder thing if I can find this artifact And here we go, alien device. Let's see, game three when revolving spell effects. Wow, he would. You know, we'd want to give that to Jim. He may spend one sanity. I mean, he's not greatest at spells, so. Ah, okay. Well, I mean, that, that's fine. And that's going to be the end of the turn. We'll move our. Well, we won't move our first player token yet. Let's go ahead and draw a Mythos card. <clears throat> and we get this here candles in the window so we're going to move the track the doom's not going to advance we're going to get a uh, monster surge <clears throat> well that's great and we're going to spawn some clue tokens so let's get let's do that and let's see here uh when investigator performs a rest action he may spend one clue or test if he gains he, if he passes or spends a clue he gains one talent condition hmm. All right, so let me set the board up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got a clue here, and at the Miskatonic Outpost, let's go ahead and spawn our gate, since no gate matched the Monster Surge one, and it's going to be at Istanbul. Here. Let's put a monster on the board. And there we go. Ooh, a ravenous gug. Ooh. When resolving, ooh, move this monster one space towards the nearest city space. Ooh. Discard the nearest clue. Okay, well, we don't have any of that. Okay, so now we'll move the first player token here. <clears throat> okay, so Jim here. Um, hmm. He's detained. So we're going to have to spin an action to do a local action. We're going to have to test our influence see if we can get rid of the detain. And we cannot. Alright, so we'll have to flip it. You are kept in a small cell without food for weeks. Every day your captors interrogate you for information. Spend one clue or test strength minus one. Alright, we passed. If you fail, okay, then discard this card so we can get rid of it. And that's it for us. And um, Joe, well, we know we're going to move him. He's going to go to Tokyo. And I think what I'll do with him is I will buy a ship ticket. And um, let's see. She's blessed. I may want her to go close that gate and fight that ravenous gug. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a focus token and then we'll move here and we'll fight this gug here. And this is a. Oof. All right. So her will is three. We're going to be minus two. Okay, well, we, we succeeded because fours, five, and sixes count for us. Uh, wow. Um, so we got one success. <clears throat> so we're going to take two sanity damage. Okay. And let's do a strength. It says, when resolving this strength test, roll one fewer die for each sanity lost. Well, that's terrible, actually. Um, <laughs> okay, our strength is four minus two. We, damn it, man. We can't even. Yeah. Wow, man. This thing. Maybe I made a mistake. I didn't look at. <laughs> I mean, this thing is going to uh, freaking move around, so. I didn't look at it, man. I drew this thing, man. This was terrible. Um, yeah, let me let me change my move. I didn't look at that thing. 
Real good. I'm going to give myself a mulligan on that one. Okay, so we're going to regain the focus token. And we're going to move to the pyramids. And we'll do the active expedition. It's still on the way. Okay, so Jim is still stuck in Arkham. So let's do him. An old man accosts you in the streets, claiming to have stolen one of the treasures of the museum's legacy of the pharaohs exhibit. He offers it to you at a price. You may gain a dark pack to gain one clue and one relic unique asset. I'm not big on these dark packs, so I'll say no. Although they may come back me in the butt. He's in Tokyo. <sighs> Uh, Yuzuru Hagara has <clears throat> engineered a fleet of ships to fight unnatural horrors. If you can navigate the natural, the naval bureaucracy to reach him, he will help. You may spend one focus to choose one monster on any space. The chosen monster loses two health. I'm going to do that. And um, I will spend a focus. The problem is, is do I want to do it on the elder things or this stupid gug that's running around? And I guess I'll spend it on the elder things because we do have to kill that thing. The Gug. That's right. It says, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. What does it say? It says, uh, it cannot lose health unless the active investigator has the alien device. Well, he is the active investigator. So, yeah, okay. It can lose health. So, it can lose two health. So, that was a, a good card. All right. And then we have um, Jenny. Is that the active expedition? Let's see what happens. You reach for the ancient relic when a small white cat jumps in front of you. To your horror, the cat transforms into a demonic feline creature and attacks. Okay, I have a strength of four. Pass. The demonic, the demon shrivels down to a husk, leaving the relic unguarded. Gain one artifact. Okay. Maybe this will help me fight that thing. Uh, Gain plus five during combat encounters. It will. Once per run, you, you may move. Wow, okay. This is actually a good weapon to help me fight. <clears throat> All right, so that was great. <clears throat> the expert, that was actually worth it because now I got a chance at beating <clears throat> uh, that stupid gug there. And that's going to be the end of the turn. Let's go ahead and draw another Mythos card. Okay, so we're going to move, and we do have a gate here that has that. So we're going to advance Doom by one. Okay. We have our Reckoning. <clears throat> so let's do our Reckonings here. The Gug has a Reckoning. It says, move this monster to one space towards the nearest city space. Okay, so it's going to be either Rome or 16 I can choose I guess and I'll choose 16 I'll choose Rome how about that we'll choose Rome okay this one says discard the nearest clue well that's at Shanghai so that's gone okay and we have our blessed event and that's the only other well no we have the investment there Okay, the bless she gets to keep the investment. Your investment is paid off. You may discard to gain a funding condition, which we will do. <clears throat> and then we have for him, <clears throat> he does not have uh, anything like that. Nope. No, he's different. He has no reckoning. Okay. We have to discard this card. Okay, and now we have to put a new gate on the board. And it is London. And we might send Jim over there. Thrall, that's not too bad. Okay, and it says, uh, Dreamcatcher, each investigator with a loss in time and space condition is devoured. Okay, then each investigator in space containing a gate gains a loss in time. Okay, well, it's fine. We don't have to worry about that. All right, we'll move the first player token. Uh, yeah, I need to get a funding condition. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and send Jim. Um, it's his turn. I mean, Joe, I'm sorry. Joe and Jim. All right. We'll send him down, and we'll, we'll spend his ship ticket, and he'll go again. And he'll gain a focus token. 
And we're, we'll try to defeat this Sean while we're down here. Uh, it's not that bad. Um, okay, so I have a will of two. It's going to be one. I'm going to uh, get roll one additional die we're resolving. Okay, I get to roll two die then. Okay, well, I, I succeeded one. However, I lose one sanity. Alright, that's fine. But it says, if you lose sanity from the test, advance doom by one unless you spend a clue. Well, I don't have a clue, so, yeah. Okay, alright. Now, uh, let's fight this thing. It only has a health of two. We have a strength of two. But we have our cult. And it's going to give us another die. Alright, we killed it. Look at that. Two sixes. So we defeat the Sean. That's great. And we can now try to close this gate on the way to Antarctica. Which is good. Uh, Jenny is... I see. Alright, so she's still blessed and she has that, that weapon. Uh, the thing is, do I want to go to Istanbul first? Or... Um, yeah, okay. We'll go here to Istanbul. And we'll do an influence test. Let's see if we get anything. We got two, three successes actually, because we can do that. And let's see here. Hmm. When you gain this card from the deck or reserve, gain two spells, and this card one. Gain plus three when resolving spell effects. Eh, she's not that good. Uh, okay, well, that's not. We'll, we'll grab that. Let's see. Uh, uh, let's get two spells here. We can either wither or feed the mind. We'll take the wither spell. She, still, she's not that good at spells. Yeah. But she can try to close that gate. And then we have Jim Culver. <clears throat> who can move uh, I think what he'll do is um, he'll gain a focus token and then he'll go here and there's his thrall and uh, if you lose sanity test and gain a corrupt condition okay so uh, we actually have three sanity we pass, look at that, three sixes. Okay, so we're not going to lose, and now we get to fight this guy. And we have two. But we have our shriveling spell, so let's, uh, let's do our action here. We got two successes. Test, if you pass, use a monster in your space to lose two health. Well, this is how much the health it has, so it's gone. Then flip this card. Uh, the harmful... Okay, so I have to lose one health. Well, that's that's still okay. Okay, so everybody's gonna have a gate encounter. So let's go ahead and do this. Joe here is at Ugoth. <clears throat> the amigo refused to go near the city of Green Pyramids. You summon your courage and explore this abandoned area. Test will. Okay, I have two. I failed. Uh, if you fail, hmm. I'll spend a focus token to try and re-roll one of them and make a success. Ah, I failed again. All right. You run from the pyramids as fast as you can until the Migo return. You need to rely on your own means of survival. Test strength. Okay, pass that one. I could have used you. Okay, so we didn't close the gate. All right. Jenny here is going to try to close this gate. As you approach the plateau of land, the ground before you cracks open. You see an amorphous black shape slowly bubbling up from the ground. Something about the living masses are mine of pa minus one. Okay, well, I can only use one die. So, here we go. I pass because I'm blessed. Recognize your shape as one of Nigoth's tendrils. You run to the tower. The strange energies there return you to Earth. Close this gate. 
when you go a small piece of nougat tries to go with you okay we're going to do observation okay um, I passed so there's good alright so we close one and Jim oops wrong wrong gate sorry Jim is going to try to do it and let's see here the abyss the thunderous voices of Noden's echoes throughout the darkness as you trek through the abyss the Lord of the abyss commands you to prove you are worthy of his aid go before Noden's to resolve the pass effect or prove yourself the fell effect okay strength or influence he's better at influence so let's do that you plead with the great lord of the abyss to grant assistance leaving this fair kingdom pass if you pass night gaunts fly you to safety close this gate okay so that's good <clears throat> all right so we closed two out of the three gates it's not bad and that is the end of the turn uh, that's actually not that bad let's do our new mythos card here all right we're going to move it uh no no doom okay we have a reckoning now he's going to move to the nearest city space see i don't i don't know where he should move he can move to either three spaces so might as well move him here so she can fight him uh is she blessed still okay and then if you want to oh wait a minute that's a, let's see, you may flip this card there are a series of odd encounters you have earned an invitation to the most curious auction strange relics from ancient times basically gain one artifact okay uh, let's see what she gains here milk ah that's not I'm not really wanting to use that okay let's spin our focus alright there we go I'm re-rolling that so I don't lose my blessed condition okay and then we have to put a new gate on the board <clears throat> and we have Arkham <clears throat> and we put a cultist there and then we have burn it all down the lead investigator chooses one monster on any space that monster loses three health <sighs> okay I can kill that elder thing if I do that. He is the lead investigator right now. <coughs> and I'm going to do that. We're killing the elder thing. It has five health. It already had two loss. So we killed it. So there it goes. It's off the board. <coughs> I don't even have to go to Antarctica. And let's see what the next mystery is. Mysterious disappearances. People have been reporting missing all over the world, but more alarming are those who have returned, proclaiming the benevolence of the elder things and the potential for a grand alliance. As an encounter, an investigator on a city space containing a clue may attempt to investigate the eerie disappearances. He draws it and resolves a mysterious disappearance, a special encounter. At the end of Mythos Fed, their clues equal to half. So it's going to be two clues. Solve this mystery. All right, so we have a clue. No, we have one there on a shitty space. Okay, so <clears throat> um, <clears throat> we'll head that way. I'll probably send Jim that way. And yeah, what a fortunate turn of events. Okay, so let's move our first player token. It goes back to Jenny. I think Jenny is going to... Uh, I think definitely she's going to stay there. Uh, she'll gain a focus. And um, she's going to try to kill that monster. Uh, Jim is going to head uh, to that city space, but we'll move him to Arkham to work on that gate, and he'll gain a focus. Well, he's already got a focus. Maybe I should do an acquire assets. 
We're gonna have to fight the cultists. So let's fight the cultists. I could have done and acquire assets in London and then moved. So let's go ahead and well, let's go ahead and do that. Three. Uh, one success. <clears throat> That's genealogy research. I'll, I'll take that. All right. And then he'll fight that cultist. And that is use the cultists on the ancient one sheet. And there, I see if you pass, the, you free the victim's mind and defeat defeat this monster and gain one random ally from the deck. All right. If you pass the spell test, well, he's good at spell. That's uh, so. Two, we got uh, focus. Let's do this. We passed. All right. So we defeat the cultist, and we gain one random ally asset from the deck okay so the first one let me see here all right this guy right here this astute researcher when you gain this card from the deck or reserve gain two task unique assets and discard one when you discard a task you need asset gain clue okay all right let's see here Courier run or know thy enemy. Hmm. Courier run is probably better. So we'll take that one. Okay. Alright. And then <clears throat> Joe. Well he'll still he'll stay there and try to close that gate then. And let's see, his influence is three. Uh, he'll go ahead and focus and then do an influence. He got one success. Uh, he can't do anything. He can't get anything. Dang. <clears throat> uh, it was close. That's fine. Um, and there we go. So Jenny's up first. Let's fight this Gug. She's supposed to do that. But let's fight this Gug here. Okay. So we have our sanity test here okay we succeeded on one <clears throat> now I can spin a focus and try to succeed on the second one I think I'll do that ah didn't do it okay well whatever so we're gonna lose two sanity loss it's kinda like last time however alright so now we have a combat <clears throat> actually of three Plus five is nine. And then we're minus four, so we get five die. Three, four, five. This thing has a high health. Okay, so one, two, three. And we can re-roll one of them. Yeah, not good enough. However, we do three damage on it. So we're not going to take any damage. And we're kind of not going to be able to explore. But we did do three damage on it. So we're close to getting this stupid monster off the board. So there we go. Okay. <clears throat> so um, she won't have an encounter then. Okay. Um... Jim is in Arkham. He's going to try to shut that gate. Let's see what we got. Yogoth. You find a dead Migo that was carrying a large container of strange metal known as Tulk. Although valuable, the substance is extremely heavy and the container proves difficult to move. Test strength minus one. Well, that's not really that good. I know. I'll spend my focus. We'll, 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 we'll redo. Oh, we got it. All right. With the you hope to trade the talk me go in exchange for the help test influence well shoot no if you pass close the gate you feel go uh, well there's nothing I can do so I don't close the gate and I have to gain an amnesia condition uh, I was so close Okay, so let's do Joe. <clears throat> He's down here. 
And this is another Yugoth. You find yourself on a cloud-covered moon. Nithon, looking down upon the surface, you got to try to find the pyramids of the planet's surface. Well, good thing he is good at observation. <clears throat> he passes. As soon as you glimpse the pyramids, a terrible green light shoots up from the space. You feel the light. Okay, we have to do a wheel check. I gave him extra dot. No, 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 no. I don't know because that's only combat. But I pass. All right. If you pass, close this gate. All right. So we close that gate. So at least we got one of them closed. That's fine. You find this amnesia condition here. <sighs> Gotta give it to Jim. Uh, tune. Oh, I thought that was it. No. Nope. Problem is, man, with this game, is there's so many conditions and so much stuff that <laughs> the stack has gotten so high. <clears throat> Uh-huh. There we go. Alright. Well, at least we were able to close one gate. We hurt the gug. And that's it. Okay. So let's go ahead and do our mythos phase. And let's see what we get. Alright. We move this here. We do not have any of those. So we will open a new gate. Uh, the heart of Africa. We have another cultist. And let's see here, we got some clues we can put on the board. Let's hope these are city space clues. We have the Himalayas, no. And number four, which is another wilderness space. Damn. <clears throat> All right. The otherworldly darkness will no longer tolerate your meddling. It feels your entire being threatened to break you if you will do not do its building. Alone you are helpless. Your only hope is to appeal to a power of equal or greater might. No time to be alone. Each investigator must resolve one of the following f effects unless he discards a promise of power condition. Ugh. Lose three health and three sanity. Yeah, that's terrible. Okay, Jim will go ahead and lose the three health and three sanity. This is bad. And I guess uh, Jenny and Joe will take a dark pack condition. Okay, so that was just terrible. Um, a terrible card. Let's move the first player token and it's going to Jim. Jim is still in Arkham. Um... We'll let him, well, we still need, we'll still need another clue. We'll let him stay there. He'll gain a focus token. Well, actually, let me see. Uh, let's rest. We're going to try to rest. We have this madness. No, I can't get rid of it. However, he still can heal. doesn't say you can't heal. So, we'll heal. Joe is all right, actually. Where do I want to go with him? Um, I can do an influence and then move somewhere. I guess I can move maybe to Antarctica. Maybe we need to swing this way a little bit. So, oh, well, there's that cultist there. I can try to close that gate. So I'll tell you what, he's going to do an influence test. He gets one. That's not good enough. Yeah. But we'll move him here. Jenny is still there. Uh, she can gain a focus. And she's going to try to fight this guy again. <clears throat> Get him off the board. Let's do this. <clears throat> okay, she got two successes that time. So she only loses one sanity. And now we're going to fight this. I think we're going to beat this guy. I really do. We have our five and four is nine. Um, minus three is six. Three, four, five, six. 
and we got these uh, so we're gonna actually lose one health but we do kill it so we kill this gug and he's off the board man and that boy that's that's a lot better <clears throat> and she'll stay there in Istanbul and uh, that's it all right so Jim we're gonna have Jim he's gonna try to close that gate so let's see what happens <clears throat> You goth again. You discover a fetid creature with wings and webbed feet. The beast is strange like something from your wildest dreams. You may spend one clue to resolve the pass effect. Well, I don't have a clue. If you do not spend the clue, resolve the fell effect. Well, the creature is terrifying, but if you can keep your calm, you'll be able to overpower it. Test your will. Well, I got a decent will. Okay, passed twice, actually. If you pass, <clears throat> close this gate. Alright, so we're closing the gate, which is good. Alright, Joe is in a C space. Yeah, so let's see what happens with him. The th thugs interrogate you about a passenger who is hiding. Uh, failed. Uh, if you fail, witnesses claim you aided the attackers gain a wanted condition. Okay. And last but not least, Jenny. <clears throat> She's in Istanbul. Uh, investor advises you, well, improve. Well, okay, we improved the one, one we really didn't need to improve, but that's fine. That's fine. Our influence is massive now. Okay. Um. um bah. He says the sphere of destiny shows him the past and the future. You stare into it. Well, okay. Well, that's. She's not good at that. No. Uh, if you pass, if you fail, your eyes gain a haunted condition. So I need a wanted and a haunted condition. Okay. Well, that'll be the end of that turn. All right. So let's draw a Mythos car. And we get our first rumor. Space seven. Let's put a. All right. So we're gonna get some clues here. Well, we already need to go to space seven in the first place. All right. Now that's not gonna be in the game. Let's see, seventeen is here. That's a city space. God dang it! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! No. And London. Okay, that's the city space. So we're okay. That's actually good. <clears throat> but we have to. We have a put a little icon there and seven as well. It says a dozen unpleasant-looking strangers have settled into Panama with a large collection of astronomical astronomical reference books. There is something unique about this place and time that allows them to rip apart the fabric of reality. Okay. As an encounter, Investigator in Space 7 may attempt to find these strangers based on the observation of the stars. If he passes, he convinces La Polisa to remove all these strangers. He may spend clues equal to, to solve the rumor. And then on a reckoning, we have to advance the rumor by one. That is not a very good... Uh, uh, Alright, so... I'm thinking about sending, <clears throat> we'll send Jenny back that way. We'll, she'll go by way of London and we'll work on that. All right, so we'll, we'll do that. So Joe is uh, gonna move, he's gonna go here. And let's see here. When you perform a travel action, you may roll one die on a four, five, or six, discard the card. No, okay, I cannot get unique assets. I can rest, however, so let's do that. Okay. <clears throat> she will move. She has that dark pack and hunted. When you perform a travel action, we're going to travel to Rome, and she can't get rid of that. And, um, jeez. I will try a unique assets with her.
One success. That's terrible. Actually, it's two successes. Because I'm still blessed and I can get uh, that. So I'll gain this here. When you gain this card from the deck or reserve, gain one clue. Okay. Reduce the horror of monsters you encounter to a minimum of one. <clears throat> okay. Well, that's actually not that bad. Okay. And there she's at Rome. Jim, uh, let's see here. Let's move Jim. What are we going to do with him? He's going to rest. Try to get rid of this amnesia condition. And he cannot. However, he can heal. And he will move one space going towards space number seven. <clears throat> okay. So let's go ahead and have our encounters. Joe is at a city space. Uh, the local sewer of Twilight is under investigation by the police. Lodge members will gladly contribute their magic to your cause in exchange for a favor. You may gain one agreement condition to gain one boon condition. Uh, no. I want to agree to these idiots. All right, Jenny is in <clears throat> Rome. So let's see what happens with her. Uh, the Purgatory Museum is free, but you can agree to be a patron. You may gain an agreement condition to gain one boon condition. No, I'm not doing all that. We won't even worry about that. And Jim is in AC space. Let's do this. Several members of the crew have been quarantined, suffering from some unidentified affliction. For the duration of the trip, you may pay careful attention to avoid any risk of exposure. Okay. Pass. Alright. Uh, if you fail... Okay, well, I didn't fail. I passed. And that is the end of that turn. Um, she does have a couple clues. It says this encounter. You may do that if you pass this strangers. She's got enough clues to end this rumor, so we'll eventually send her that way as well. So, alright. Well, that's it for that turn. Let's do a new mythos card. And we have... Uh, here we go. We're moving the gate. Uh, we have no... We have one. Okay. Uh, nothing. Okay. We have some reckoning effects. Um, and so we have to advance the omen by one. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's do everybody's reckoning effects. Now, she's going to have Dark Pack, Hunted, and Blessed. All right. Dark Pack, you roll a one. I rolled a two, so we're all right. Let's test our observation. If you fail, flip this card. We did not fail, so we're all right on that. All right. And I'm going to re-roll that. I don't want to lose my bless. God damn it. So I lost my bless condition. That is... Uh. Okay, so he has uh, madness, test will. He fails, actually. Uh, gain a deck condition. Then discard this card. Okay. A deck condition? I don't understand that, but that's fine. We'll gain the deck condition. <clears throat> he has Dark Pack and Pursuit. Okay, the Dark Pack doesn't come to be, and Pursuit, we have to test Observation. We have four of these. And we pass, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, so that's all those. I have to spawn a new gate, and we're spawning one at Antarctica. We have this thing, and this is going to go to Tuscunga. Each investigator rolls one die. Crap. Okay, five. He gains one clue. Okay, Joe. Gain a clue. Jenny. <clears throat> gains one clue. Okay, so Jenny's got three clues. And Jim. Ooh, gains a bane condition. Yeah. Oh man. Bane corruption. 
Uh, when you gain one Eldritch token, you may gain one Eldritch token to reroll one die when resolving a test. If you gain a boon discard this card instead, gain one Eldritch token and flip this card. That's not good. Alright. Alright, so we're at Jenny. Uh, we know we're sending Jenny here. And we'll uh, perform our travel action. She can't get rid of it. But we'll rest with her. Okay, and she will go there. Jim, um, let's see if he can do his local action. Now he's not in the city. <clears throat> he can go here, and he's going to do his local action to see if he can get rid of his debt condition. He can. So he can discard that card. All right. And let's see here. Joe <clears throat> is going to move up here. Try to get rid of this gate. Um, we have a cultist there. Uh, first, though, he can see if he can get rid of his wanted condition. He can. So he can get rid of his wanted condition. Okay. <clears throat> and now he can fight this cultist. And he's not good at spells at all. So, let's see. No. I can spin a focus and try to do that. No. And so, uh, we have to fight this guy. Uh, it only has a strength of one. We have a strength of two. Plus a three. With the cult. And we defeat him. So the cultist is out. We just didn't get any bonus from that thing. And then he'll try to close that gate. <laughs> Alright, so Jenny is going to try to get this clue. So we can solve this mystery. So let's see what we do. Right, this is a... Mysterious Disappearance Special Encounter. Okay. Huh. You've been deputized to lead a police raid on a warehouse believed to be a safe house for the human trafficking ring. Test influence. Well, good for her. That's five. That's a pass. Once inside, you find a half a dozen technical creatures. The shock psychs the raiding party, and you must keep them together. Test will. Okay, we absolutely failed on that. So we're going to spin a clue. No. Spin another one. No. Come on. Okay, well that's fine. That works. So it took me three clues. But good God, I finally passed. If you pass, drive the alien threat. Drive out this place a clue token on the active mystery. Okay, so we, we did that. We've got that one done. Okay, so that's her. We have Jim, who's down here, and he's going to try to do this active mystery as well. All right, you enter a supposed abandoned basement and discover a young woman restrained and tethered to some alien device. You attempt to decipher the A language and disable the service. Spell. Well, he's good at spell, so. Pass. You manage to disable the device, but you now must find a way to release her before her captors return. Test observation. Hey, all right, two successes. If you pass, you free here. Place this clue on the active mystery. Okay, so we've done that. We've we've done our mysteries, and now let's. Uh, we still need to worry about this, but we don't have any clue tokens anymore. Well, he does, so I may send him that way, and then you, somebody can get a clue token. So let's. We've done our two active mysteries. Let's go and see what our third mystery is. Binding the Dark God. While the Dark God is still weakened, a new prison can be created to contain it. Through a series of rituals, the Dark God can be bound to another world. When this card enters play, place a mystery token on the Plateau of Lang. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and do that. Looks like we <clears throat> might be heading back to. Uh, here, here we go. So it might be a little difficult. Um, as an encounter, an investigator in the Plateau Lane may attempt to bind the Dark God to another world. He draws and resolves an other world encounter. If the effect allows him to close the gate, he may spend one clue to place one Elder's token on this card. At the end of the Mythos phase, if there are Elder's tokens on this card equal to half. Okay, so he already has one. And if I send him 
down, he can get one at the Miskatonic. And if I can get uh, those two, I can probably do that. So that's, that's fine. And now it's his turn, and we're going to try to close this gate. And we are at the Great Hall of Celiano. Uh, you encounter an elderly vision version of yourself who claims to have spent years studying in the library. Your other self shows you several obscure books and tries to teach you a lifetime of occult knowledge. Well, he is not good at occult knowledge. And I fail. Speaking to your future self is too bizarre to handle madness condition. You try to do as the other instructs. Pass a will test. Okay, I passed on that one. If you pass, close this gate. Alright. So, I want to gain a madness condition. Alright, that's fine. And let's go ahead and do uh, a next mythos phase. Let's see what happens. And we have... Alright, so this moves here. Uh, we have... One gate on the board. It's not it. So, we're going to have to do... Uh, Another gate for the monster surge. That's Buenos Aires. And we have this idiot. That's not going to be fun. The old man listens carefully to your story. When you finish, he looks you coldly in the eye. What would you give to stem the tide of darkness? All right. Well, that's, first of all, we got to put some clues on the board. So let's put some clues on the board here. We have Arkham good that's gonna help and we have eight good so Jim can get those clues and try to resolve that counter each of us and that's is doomed by one unless he gains a deal condition oh my goodness I don't want a deal we're still all right I'll go to ten so we'll do that and we'll pass the first player token along we didn't have to worry about that it was gonna so we kind of got lucky and all right let me uh do some things and we'll be okay so let's keep on going here uh i think we got a decent chance we're on our third mystery um we this thing's a problem and this this uh, this is a problem but maybe we jim can solve help solve it and um <clears throat> For Jim, uh, we're going to go ahead. He's going to need two clues, so a couple clues. So let's go ahead and, and send him over here to the C space. Before we do that, though, um, he'll gain a focus. And he'll go to the C space. Um, Joe has got one clue. He needs to pick up another clue. He can do that uh, on his way to the plateau of Lang. He's here in the heart of Africa. We've got to get him to Antarctica. So I think what we'll do is we'll move him here. And maybe he'll try some acquire assets as well. Hey, only one success. I don't want to take out a bank loan, so that's fine. Okay. And then we have uh, Jenny. Let's see here. She's hunted. Uh, maybe she can help with some of these clues and stuff. So let's send her to Arkham uh, to go get a clue. She's going to do her travel action. If we roll a five or six, we can get rid of the hunted. We can't. And and then she'll, she'll acquire assets. Why not? Um, she has a five influence. So let's see what we can get. She didn't get a single one except for one. And yeah, it's not going to do anything. So, okay. Not a waste. Alright, so it's Jim's turn. He's going to try to get a clue. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do this. Um, he's in the C space. Some members of the crew have been acting suspiciously since you left port. You sneak out of your cabin night and observe them. Let's do an observation minus one check. Well, yeah. Oh, all right, we passed. If you pass, you discover that a ritual is meant to summon creatures from another world. Gain the dang it artifact. All right, I, all right. So we gain the artifact instead of the clue, which is not what I was looking for. Uh, maybe this artifact. Will, 
give me something, give me a clue or something. Oh man. Let's see here. What, what are the dull chants? This better be the best artifact in the world here. Here we go. <clears throat> it's a trinket. Let's see, when you resolve a combat encounter, you may test spell. If you pass, you may spend one sanity to roll three additional dice. When okay. Well, that's not helpful. I don't know what else to say about that. So that was uh, kind of a waste. <sighs> Alright, Joe's going to have a city encounter. <laughs> Let's see, a mob blames famed occultist Larnette D. Mart for several strange deaths. You intervene to prevent his arrest. Influence minus two. I mean one. Alright, so pass. If you pass, gain the apparently unique asset. Okay. I don't know what that is. And Jenny is going to try a clue. She's in a city. You become increasingly desperate in your fight against the Elder Things and are exploring darker measures. A member of the Silver Twilight Lodge offers you aid in combating and can mind control. You may gain... What? I don't want it. to gain a skill. No, I want the clue. <laughs> Alright, so I can't get the clue. I'm not gaining a Dark Pact accent, so what a waste of a turn. What a waste of a turn. Oh, man. Let me see what asset he's getting... The Ernie Laurent. Okay. Jeez. Okay, so this asset's really not that good. You may add one success to your test when resolving an acquire assets action. Once per round during the action phase, you may discard one card from the reserve. So that was just really a waste of a turn. Uh, Alright, let's do our Mythos card. Alright, so we have to move. And we do have, I believe, we, we have two, actually. Ooh, that hurt. Uh, so it goes to eight. <laughs> and we have some reckonings here. And, of course, we have to advance. Now we're down to seven. So this is not good. We went from a decent situation to a bad. We you see. The monster recovers all health. Well, he's not hurt. And we have some reckonings we're going to have to do. And we'll start with, <clears throat> with Jenny. Okay, no dark pact, and we're going to test her observation. She passed, so we don't have to flip the card. Uh, he has corruption. Gain one corrupt Eldritch token, and then flip this card. You may gain a dark pact condition to discard all your Eldritch tokens. You seem to have age a year in the last day in your body. For each Eldritch token, you have to lose one health and one sanity, unless you discard this possess one possession and flip this card. Okay, I will. I will. Uh, get rid of a possession. I'll get rid of the whiskey. Okay. And then he has the dark pact. And that's a five, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, so let's put a new gate on the board. We have one in Cairo. Which is not going to happen, because that's from a different board. Atlantis. Space 8. Huh. Okay. Well, that's here. And we have another cultist. Okay, so we got several things we can do. The lead investigator gains a funding condition. Well, that would be Jim. So, let's give him a funding condition. And now we move this. All right, so it's Joe's turn. <clears throat> so we're trying to send Joe to Antarctica. Which way would it be easier to go? The Shogoth I might send him here. You can close that gate. Okay. Um, the Shogoth. How hard is this thing? It's nasty. I don't have very good weapons, to be honest with you.
I think what we'll do <clears throat> is Joe will acquire assets again. Okay, he actually gets three successes. So, let's see. Expert's Blade. I'll gain that. <clears throat> uh, gain one talent condition. Okay, well that can help. Uh, let's see here. That could help. Uh, agreement, agreement, dark pack. Headstrong was the first one I found. So he's headstrong now. And that is once per round when you would lose sanity, you may test if you pass, prevent the loss up to two sanity. Okay. And then we'll move him there. Okay. Um, she will stay where she's at. Because we still need to get that clue. So she will gain a focus. And then I will try to get her an asset. She gets one success. What a terrible roll. Yeah, okay. So nothing there. He will fight the cultist, but he'll gain a focus as well. That's basically all he can do. And let's see here. Um, he can do a spell. He passes. So actually, he does that. He can gain an ally asset from the deck. Alright, let's gain an ally. Come on, ally. Trouble. Fun. Here we go. A lodge hunter. Well, that kind of that's that looks like that's helpful. Game plus one strength and plus one will. When you re you may reroll one die when resolving those tests. That's actually really good. Okay. So let's start with Joe. He's in a C space. <clears throat> uh, you find a man adrift in a lifeboat. Your captain suspects he was abandoned due to the plague. You examine the survivor. Any signs of sickness? Let's do an observation. We have a four. We pass. If you fail, okay. Well, we didn't fail. Okay. So next up is her. She will try to gain a clue. All right. So you you pour over an ancient tome for hours, searching for references to elder things. Observation minus one. But dang it, she's not good at observation. Hmm. No. Yeah, she failed, but we'll, we'll re-roll. No, failed again. All right, so she lost that focus. Uh, if you fail, become delayed. So we're having problems now. And I don't like that. Um... Become delayed. Oh, that's right. All right, so we'll become delayed. Well, we weren't going to move anyways. How about that? And Jim now is going to try to get that clue. He's in the city space. Uh, da -da. You pursue the thrall to the roof of the hotel. He jumps off the edge and lands on a roof of an edge. You gather yourself a mighty leap. We have a strength of three. Okay, we failed that. However, we have a couple focus. We passed. <clears throat> so, we will gain the clue. Alright. Alright, so we can have an encounter. Um, 
over there next turn and put at least one clue token <clears throat> on that rumor and we can close the gate so I think that's probably what we'll try to do alright so that's that um, let's do our new Smithos phase alright we have another rumor now alright pyramids and Tuskungna and it looks like we're going to have to put four elders tokens on the board when this card under play spawn the Rand took out Ekit monster on London when it is defeated solve this rumor when there are no elders tokens on this card each investigator loses he three health and three sanity yikes and gains a hypothermia condition well it's not terrible but we do have to get that defeat that monster and I bet he's not an easy guy to beat um, what do we got to spawn him on? London okay okay so Jenny's our first player we know she's not doing anything that's fine Jim is our second player <clears throat> and we want to try to shut that gate down so we're going to stay there we're going to uh, you know, focus and we'll rest and Joe uh, he'll gain a focus and we'll send him here to the Shogoth in this gate <clears throat> and he's going to try to beat the Shogoth and he has to do a wheel check here he has a wheel of two uh, but we have the museum director Which is going to give us three dice. And we succeeded on two of them. That's not bad. We only lose one sanity. Okay. Once per round, when you, you may test to prevent. Well, you know, I can test to prevent. Uh, I didn't make it, so okay. All right. All right, now we're going to fight this thing. Um... Hmm. See here. I have a strength of two. I have the expert's blade, which is going to give me four. And I have the knife, which is going to give me five. So one, two, three, four, five. We're going to be at minus two. So I only do three things to this. It's not that great. But at least I can wound it. I couldn't wound it at all. Look at that. That's just awful. Um, okay, I'm going to lose two health. And I can't do anything. So. Wow. What? He got held up, man. I tried. I'm, I may just have to keep moving on next time anyways. It's not going to matter. Okay, so Jenny is going to do her clue. Uh, you suspect the mayor is not in his right mind and search for evidence to convince the police. Observation. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I passed. If you pass, gain this clue. Okay, so I gain the clue. So that is done. Jim is going to try to close this gate future you find yourself in a familiar city but there's no electricity the only light comes from greenish moon and the only sound is a distant scream and you feel your reason being overrun by fear okay and three was that a city space no it was not that's right all right well I passed that one uh, resisting your urge to panic, you find a large metal and glass machine that has electrically. You try to learn how to operate the device. Okay, well, that's three there. Okay, we passed. So, if you... If you pass, close the gate. Okay, so we close the gate. So we got that gate done. And he's out of here. So that's good. We're able to take care of that. And it's basically going to end that turn. Uh, 
because Joe can't do anything. All right, so let's do our next Mythos card, and here we go. Uh, no, nothing happens there. So we're going to have to spawn a new gate. So let's spawn a new gate. We have Hyperborea, space 13. Where's that at? Up here. Okay. Gone. All right, at two clues, we have twelve here, and we have the underworld no the moon no Istanbul. Okay. For centuries, the men of the mosque of the Tulan have stood against the servants of Nefrikat. Now they travel to the world to undo the Black Brotherhood's evil. Each investigator resolves one of the conflicts. Discard one illness, injury, or madness commission. Recover one health and one sanity. Okay. Um, she'll get rid of the haunted condition. Um... She, wait a minute, she can't. That's not an illness, injury, or madness condition. It is not. So all she can really do is just heal. He doesn't have any of those conditions. So all he can do is heal. And he doesn't have any of those conditions. So all he can do is heal. He's actually okay, but I could have hoped better. There we go. Let's move it to Jim. So we're going to move Jim down here to this city space <clears throat> and uh, he will test his influence. Why not? Uh, doesn't get anything. Okay, Jenny is going to prepare to travel and get a ship ticket and she will move down here. So there goes the ship ticket. Uh, I did it a little bit out of order. Um, and we got to get him going, so he's not going to worry about this gate right now. Um, he's going to move here to 12 and try to pick up that clue token. And he will focus. Do that. Okay, so <clears throat> it is Jim's turn. And Jim will have, um, if he, okay, he will try to spin a clue token to get rid of that. He has to do an observation test. He failed. Let's go ahead and roll our focus. And we got it with a five. So he can spin his clue token and put that on here. And we're good. Um, Jim. We'll try to get a clue. A uh, Joe, I'm sorry, we'll try to get a clue at the sea. In the ship's hardcore hold, you discover a jar containing a volatile black slime. Gain this clue. Okay. A proto shogoth monster ambush. You defeat it, you are able to study, gain one additional clue. Proto shogoth. Um, is this thing a proto? No, it's a regular shogoth. Well, where the hell's a proto shogoth? You know what? I'm just going to pick a random monster. How about that? And this is a cultist. So uh, we'll try to spell. No. We'll try to beat him. We do. Alright, so there's that. I'm dig through there. So I gain uh, an additional clue. Okay. Um, Jenny is going to try to have an encounter and do this. Her observation is two. Okay. She's gonna spend her only focus token. All right. Well, that was good. Got a five there. It rolled here. This is it. And she spins the clue. And we have gotten rid of this rumor. Let's see. Shit, that dropped. So we got rid of that rumor. Well, now we have this one to deal with. 
but we got rid of those. Okay, <laughs> let's do a new Mythos card. And we're going to we're gonna have, oh my goodness, <laughs> boom, boom. All right, uh, Monster Surge. Okay, well, we're going to have a Monster Surge now. Let's have one here. Artica. And we have another one, Amigo. Put two clues on the board. We have 18. Here. And we have Lake Camp. Here. Alright. And we have. You wake up from a nightmarish vision of streets running thick with blood. The details of the dream reveal the hidden truth of the forces aligned against you, but it is little comfort. You feel certain the dream heralds the end of all things. When this card enters play, the lead investigator gains two clue tokens. That's Jim. Then resolve the effect of each Mythos card in play. Okay, well, I have to discard an Eldritch token then. So that gives me less time. Okay. And now we move over to this. And Joe is the lead investigator. Okay, let me do some things. Okay, so it's Joe Diamond's turn. Um, we're trying to get him to the Plateau of Lang. Okay, so he's in the sea, so we're going to move him here. Maybe he can close his gate while we're here. And uh, while well, he's at his max focus, he can't rest. I, I guess I could have rested there. There's no point in it. Um, let's see, what's per round when you improve a skill? Okay, well, I could I could have done this action here. And choose an ally service weapon. That, uh, all right, well, he'll go, he's going to try to beat this cultist. Hey, all right, so he does that check. So he's going to get um, one ally asset. Uh, that's actually pretty good. Gain some allies here. Um, well, shoot. Let's find an ally here. Okay, here we go. Conspiracy theorist. This is a game plus two during research encounters. Roll. Alright, well, it comes with a reckoning ability thing, so that's fine. Okay, so he'll try to close that gate, which we'll need closed. Okay, we have these two, and we want to try to kill this thing right here. So I think, let's see, she, well, she, oh, that's right, she has that thing, that, that artifact, which will help. See how strong this guy is here. This guy is, uh, he's tough. But it's not that bad. Um, I think what I'll do is I will... I'll send her to go greet that thing. And I'll send Jim down here. Although I don't know, man. These monsters right here, man. These things ain't, ain't easy. Who would do better at that? I mean, oh. Maybe she can trade something. I mean, <sighs> hmm. Okay, I tell you what we're gonna do. I'm gonna send her down here to beat these monsters first. Okay, so she's there. We're gonna gain a focus. And then she's gonna come down here and she's gonna try to fight these monsters. And we'll start with the Migo, because um, it's easier. 
has a, she has a will of three. She passes. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. She want to beat this thing. Uh, so she has a strength of three. Four, five is nine. Minus two, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Well, she utterly destroyed it. So Migo's gone, and it says we get a artifact when we beat it. So that's good. Let's see what we get this time. Uh, a tome. I forgot to do her travel action, so let's do her travel action real quick. All right, well, that didn't work. All right, now we have the Shogoth, <clears throat> and she has a will of three. No minus is there. All right, she got one success, so she's going to take two sanity damage. Reduce the horror of monsters you encounter to a minimum of one. Buy one. Okay, so she can... All right, well, that's actually good. She only takes one. All right, now she's going to fight this thing. <clears throat> and it's going to be seven dice again. Let's hope we can have another good roll, huh? Okay, well, that's actually uh, three hits on the thing. <clears throat> I can spend my focus and try to make it four and kill this thing. And I think I'll do that. <clears throat> ah, I did it. Good. So this thing is dead. Good. So we get this out of the thing out of the way. And she can go after that gate. Okay, let's do Jim. <clears throat> let's send him up here to try and uh He's got a couple clues. Um, send him here. He'll he'll do a, an assets. Well, oh uh, well. <clears throat> let's see here. Let's gain a focus, and we'll just send him here. Alright, that, that'll be fine. That'll be it for you. Okay, so Joe's going to try to close this gate. Uh, we have Great Hall Siliano. You are stunned to see a familiar face through tomes of dark sorcery. You try to catch a glimpse of what he's reading without alerting him to your presence. Observation minus one. Well, we're alright at observation. Pass. You learn what he's been reading and realize that he has opened a portal between worlds. Close this gate. Okay. Afterwards, you examine the book that he was reading. Uh, spell. No. Oh, pass. If you pass, gain one clue. Or spell. I'll gain a clue. Alright, so that was pretty good. We'll close that gate. She's here, and she's going to try to close this gate. <clears throat> and this is the future. You find yourself wading through the endless rivers of time. Inside, decipher visions of past, present, future, dragging at your legs, trying to pull you under. You steal yourself and try to make headway against the raging current. Well, you know, uh, she has a strength of three. All right. Yeah. All right, she passes. Yeah, you hold fast, close this gate. Okay, that's good. Uh, the present is already forming around you and your only path is unwritten. Is yet unwritten? We do a spell. She's not that good at spells. Okay, well, we can try. No. If you pass, if you fail, gain the lost in time and space condition. Well, that's... <clears throat> that's not that bad. Um... Get a lost in time and space. She'll gain that. All right. So and Jim is at a C space. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and resolve that. All right. Uh, the captain of the ship invites you to dine with him. You have a feeling that he's had some experience with unearthly creatures and try to convince him to share stories. Well, we have an influence of three. Pass. 
Uh, if you pass, gain one clue. Spawn one clue. I'm sorry. Spawn one clue. Not gain a clue. Spawn a clue. Alright. This is at 21. It's just here. Okay. Well, that's not that bad. Alright. That'll be the end of our hero's turn. Now let's do a meet those card here. Alright. We have a turning here. And we have actually only one gate on the board, and it's up there, and so we're going to move that. We have a reckoning, so let's see what this thing does. It says, uh, if there is an investigator on, on the space, move him and this monster. Otherwise, this monster moves two spaces towards the nearest investigator. So it's going to move one, two. Um, we have to take an Eldritch token off of this. All right, we have some reckonings here. We have the Hunted and the Dark Pact. Okay, Dark Pact is fine. She has to test observation. Pass. Alright, he has a deal. If you are on a city space, you may flip. He is not on a city space. Alright, gain one Eldritch token and then flip this card. Alright. Um, yeesh. I'll get rid of this. I don't need it. And then I have to lose one health and one sanity. And Jim has a deal. And then he has the conspiracy theorist. So the deal's fine. And then on a four, five, or six, he'll gain a clue. So he gains a clue. Okay, and so that's it for that. Uh, now we have to do a gate. And we have Shanghai. And we have this thing here. Ugh. And let's see. Each investigator resolves one of the following effects. Recover one health and one sanity. Okay, well he'll do that. And they'll just all recover. And that's actually not that bad. Spa Resort Weekend. Okay. And we move the first player token over to <clears throat> her. Okay, so uh, we want to get her... I guess we'll get her to try to head up there. She'll buy a ship ticket. And then we'll move one, two. Uh, Jim will move here. And he has to fight this Night Gaunt here. And his will is three. Actually four. Because of the Lodge Hunter. He passes. And then he has to strength here. Um, hmm. I could do a Wither spell. I could do the Shriveling spell and the monster loses two health. So let's do that. Okay, we passed, so it loses two health, which it kills it, but he has to flip the card, and he only gained one success, so he loses one health. That's not that bad. Alright. Okay, and then Joe here, well, we're going to move Joe. Uh, he's at Antarctica. He can come to the Miskatonic Outpost. It doesn't cost him anything. I need to figure out how to get to the Plateau of Lane. Okay, there's, it's there. So, he actually can go ahead and just go ahead and be right here. And see here, he's going to move one. He can gain one ship ticket. Or test if you pass gain one Antarctic Guide unique asset. Um, I think we'll try to get the Antarctic Guide. I think they're going to help me out. <clears throat> <laughs> I didn't pass. Well, okay. That's fine. Um, Alright. So, let's start with Jenny. Uh, she's in the sea space. Your ship... Wait a minute. She can't... Oh, I forgot about that. She can't move. She's lost in space and time. That's right. So, uh... 
So resolving and counter flip this card. The silhouette of a man towers before you standing behind a veil of shimmering stars. You hear the being's voice in your mind offering an escape from the emptiness. You may gain a dark pack condition to place your investigator token on a space of your choice. If you do not Okay. If you do not gain the condition, spawn one gate and place your investigator on a token. Okay. Um Actually, she doesn't have any clues. Hmm. And we're going to need two clues. He has all the clues. I probably will take a dark pack condition. And then what I'll do is... Um, I will take the dark pack condition. And I may come out here to where I can fight that freaking monster. She already has one, so. I mean, what's another one, you know? Or, you know what? I may spawn her here. Okay, Jim. We're gonna move Jim. Um, I'm gonna let him gain a focus, and we're gonna move him to this guy right here, and we're gonna fight him. Okay, so this thing, uh, the horror is two. It's not that bad. He has a three. He has four. Okay, he passes. No problem. Uh we, if we lose health, we're going to gain hypothermia condition. Okay, so let's see here. Hmm. I don't have to fight the monster. I forgot. I have the shriveling spell. All I have to do is be on the same space. So I don't have to fight the monster. I can just test my thing and then put two health on him, which is what I'm going to do. And I pass. So he loses two health. Now I'm going to lose one health. But that's fine. Okay. And Joe is, is going to have an encounter. Uh, he'll pick up that clue token. Uh, let's see if he can get ready to get it. He is, of course, in a wilderness space. I take it. Yeah. All right. There's an ancient tablet at the bottom of the ravine whose secrets you require. You look for a way down to retrieve it. Test it. observation. Okay, we pass. If you pass, retreat, gain this clue. Okay, so he gained the clue. So he's got plenty of clues. We just gotta get him over there. Alright, and uh that's it. That was a quick round. Let's do our another mythos card here. Alright, let's go ahead. Alright, so we have that. We don't have any of those on the board, so we're gonna have monster search. We're just gonna put a gate on the board, and we have the Himalayas. Oh, those are all circles, man. And we have this thing, and it's going to be an Artica. Okay, so let's spawn two clue tokens. Uh, 11 here. And that's not going to do it. 20 here. Okay. All right, the lead investigator gains two task unique assets, then discards one of those cards. Okay. Let's see here. Courier run and courier run. Well, that's terrible. So I have another courier run. Well, that's well, actually... That's just her. She's the, still the lead investigator. So she has a courier run. 
All right, so we will, now we move, it's Jim's turn, and we're gonna have Jim stay there, and uh, yeah, uh, Joe is going to move, and let's see here, if you, okay, I might go to late camp, I might get a dog sled, and I wanna do that. I'm going to test. I got it. Okay, so we got a dog sled. Unique asset. And this is a move to an adjacent space on the ad art, then perform one additional action. That'll get me there quicker. Good. Okay. And then um, Jenny is going to stay there. Um, she'll focus and she's going to try to close that gate. Okay, so Jim is, uh, you know, he rested. Well, he can't rest on that monster board, but he's going to test his thing. And he passes. And he got two successes, and he's going to put two more damage on this thing. So that's fine. Um, I may think about fighting it, actually. All I got to do is get one hit on him. Yeah, okay. Uh, that was his action there. Um, he's going to fight that thing. <clears throat> All I got to do is put one hit on it. So we have a will of three. So let's do that. Actually, we have a will of four. I got one success. I can re-roll one of them. All right, it's two successes, so I don't take any damage. Now I can fight the thing. I have three dice. Uh, minus one is two. I can re-roll one of these. I beat it. All right, I got one hit on it. So I'm going to take two damage. But I do kill it. So we kill this guy. And this thing is no longer a problem. So we've succeeded on that front. And then I can have an action in London. We you know. All right. And let's go ahead and, and have our London action since we're we're here. Uh, the Thames is flooding, and Westminster Hall needs help saving documents from the floodwaters. Okay, Ooh, strength of three. No, if you pass, if you fail, lose one health. All right. Joe is at here. Oh no, I got the wrong cards. All right, hold on. Well, actually, I, I'm going to try to get the clue that's there. So we're going to have another wilderness space here. Actually, I think it's a city space because it, it has a, you can test, so it's going to be kind of a city space. A survivor of the Miskatonic Expedition is spotted drinking at a local bar. You join him in the hopes that he'll open up to you. To influence. Okay, I failed. Do I want to re-roll that? Yeah, I'll, I'll spend a focus to reroll. Alright, I'll spend my other focus. Alright, that's my two focus gone. I got so many clues. Let's spend a clue. Alright. Jeez. Look at this. I can't hit it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at how many rolls that is before. I want to count. You know, I stopped a minute ago, but I want to keep counting. I'm not going to stop until I get a five or six. Oh, there we go. All right, so I lost three clues on that. All those five tries. Seven tries and not a five or six. And I'm going to have to gain an amnesia condition because of that stupid thing. Ugh. Jeez. Oh, you kidding me with that crap. Okay, so he gains the amnesia condition. Jenny is going to try to. Yeah, find the amnesia condition. I don't know where it's at. 
Oh, here it is. Jenny's going to try to close that gate. So let's see what happens. You are horrified to realize that your body, that the body you're inhabiting is in this world is not your own. The shock of seeing yourself in an alien conical shell threatens to shatter your mind. Test of will. Pass. You steer yourself against the horror of this alien body and try to recall the knowledge necessary to build a device that will return you to your body. Test your spell. Oh boy. Ah, pass. All right. If you pass, close this gate. All right, we've closed that gate. Okay, well, that will end that turn. So let's go ahead and grab another Mythos card here. All right, so we're going to move to the top. There's nothing going to happen. We have some Reckonings we're going to have to do. So let's worry about these. Now, this guy is... Uh, move this monster near space containing the an investigator. The investigator in space immediately encounters it. Uh, that's going to be Jim. <clears throat> so Jim's immediately going to encounter that. And he's got to do a will. He gets one success. So he's going to lose two sanity. And now he has strength. Uh, he gets one, three, no modifiers for that. I he failed every single one of them. I can re-roll one. Oh, I can spend two focus. You see, you see what I'm saying? Look at this shit. Okay, so he's just going to have to take... I can't. I'm going to have to spend clues. I can't lose any more health. Okay, I got one clue spent. That's one hit, and I'll spend the other clue. Okay, all right, so I had to take one damage. But I do wound it once. Okay. All right, that's the end of that. All right, uh... Okay, let's do our dark pack, Haunted. We got two dark packs, actually. Neither one of them popped up. Haunted, we have to test observation. We pass. Jim has a funding. He is on a city space, so he can flip this card. And it's uh, da -da 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 -da. advance the active mystery by one or retreat doom by one. Huh. Okay, we're gonna act. We're gonna we're gonna advance the mystery of Doom by one. That way, Joe only has to do one encounter there with that. All right. Let's see. Gain one Elder's token and flip this card. Lose one, unless you discard one possession. Okay. Well. Okay. So Jim is out of the game. Jim is gone uh, physically beaten. He's been beaten. So Jim is out. We can get rid of the shriveling spell. The, these things are done. Uh, this is done. Lodge hunt. Uh, that corruption hurt him so Jim has out of the game he has died <sighs> okay we will advance doom by one it's not looking great okay Joe's reckoning well Okay, the dark pact is fine. He does not gain a clue, and we have to test will. He passed. Okay, so that's all that. 
now we're going to add a um, gate to the board to Skunga and we're going to put a monster there a cultist alright <clears throat> move the omen track to the green space of the omen okay it, it does that then advance doom by one for each gate that corresponds to omen so now we're at two we're in trouble if there are one or more elders on the green advance doom by one okay well Well, kind of got hosed, so yeah, it looks like we're going to get hosed real soon. <clears throat> huh. So, Joe is up. It's his turn. Okay, action. Move to an adjacent space on here. Frozen waste. Okay. Then perform one additional action. So, we're going to move to the city of the elder things well hold on hold on hold on he's gonna actually move three because we'll, we'll perform our first action we'll move we'll perform our second action and do that and then our third action he basically gives him third action so we're gonna go to the plateau of lane that's fine all right um jenny well uh we'll gain a focus and we will come here and we're going to try to beat this uh, this this haunting thing. Our will is um, three minus one is two. We got one success, so we have to only lose two sanity. Now we're going to fight this thing, and we have nine, so I'm pretty sure we're going to beat it. Well, that's one, two. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I can roll five. Okay. And it's enough to kill it. I still have to take one damage, but it already had one damage on it, so it's it's dead. We we killed this thing. We got it off the board. And she's gonna have an encounter with Jim <clears throat> there. And uh let me get that lodge hunter, man. I know she's gonna keep that. Okay, so all right, it's Joe's turn now. All right, at the, let's see. As encounter, investigator may attempt to. He draws resolve an other world encounter. If we can close the gate. Okay, uh, strange have been painted that they depict a family of outer gods. You may spend one focus to learn. Okay, so I will spend his only focus do that. The children of, <clears throat> I can't even pronounce that, fled Yaga to avoid being eaten by their father. You can use their hat to close his gate. However, some of the glowing paint got on your skin. Test observation. Well, I have an observation of four, so we passed. Okay, so we um, closed the gate. We have <clears throat> two things here. So we have, at the end of Mythos phase, <clears throat> solve this mystery so we're going to solve that mystery right there we have done so so that's number three and we're getting real close okay jenny is going to uh jim culver here seeing jim in this in this hospital bed is heartbreaking he hands you the key to a safety deposit box gain all of his possessions this the fairy of the injuries means he'll never speak to or play music again you gently try to coax him into writing down everything he's learned Test influence. Well, okay. Well, that's that's good for her. Uh, she passes. If you pass, Jim fills a dozen sheets of paper with arcane illustrations. Retreat doom by one. That's good. Okay, so that we got lucky on that. So we retreated doom by one. And Jim is now off the board, and that will be the end of our turn. Now let's let's see what our next mystery is. We have completed that one, and. Uh, an alien ritual. The elder things have abducted countless humans, brainwashing them and forcing them to perform some heinous ritual for an unknown purpose. Did I have to spin a clue? I did have to spin a clue. When this card is played, place a mystery token on Lake Camp. Okay, well that's back over there. <clears throat> it's not that bad. Maybe I can hurry him and get Joe down there. Okay. <clears throat> As an encounter, investigator in Lake Camp may attempt to free the minds. Oh, 
A cultist monster ambushes him. If he passes that test, he, he may discard one ally asset and spend one clue to place one elder's token. Okay. <clears throat> so, that's not that hard either. There's a chance we can win this. So let's go ahead and do the first player. Let's gain another uh, Mythos card here. And we are going to move this. <clears throat> we don't have any of those symbols. So we're going to have to spawn a gate. Uh, we're in trouble. Because we have three circles. No, that's not. That's leafless. We don't have that. Alright. That. No. <clears throat> Denial. Miskatonic. We're in trouble. We're in some big trouble, man. <clears throat> because um, all right, we got a serpent people, and he's gonna go to the Amazon. Yeah. Uh, we got too many of these damn gates on the board, man. And yeah, that's that's gonna screw us next turn. Two clues on the board, the Amazon, and 14. Okay, so what can I do? All right. Event. Each investigator loses health and sanity equal to the number of impairment tokens he has. Well, I don't have any impairment tokens, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay, so what do I got to do, man? We got we to gotta do something. I can't close any gates in time. I won't. I won't make it. Oh man. Um. She's right in the middle. Now he has the dog thing, so he could technically get there, but next turn we're going to get screwed. Uh, unless I can close one gate. <clears throat> Otherwise, it's going to move three. And I don't have anything to move that many spaces. So I can go, I, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Unless something happens and I can miraculously, I, there's nothing I can do. So, uh, well, we still might can beat this. Even though four, we, we would have solved maybe four mysteries, we still may be able to defeat this thing. So let's, let's go ahead and move her. Uh, she'll rest and then she'll go to Rome and we're going to do her travel action here. She can't get rid of that damn haunted. Okay. Um, Joe. Alright. He's going to move one, two, three because of his dog thing. Alright. We have to fight a cultist monster. So we'll worry about that. It'll be her turn first. Let's go. <clears throat> Let's go to Rome. Uh, the monster statues in the Bosco de Monster are whispering. You try to speak to the overgrown sculpt sculptures. Test influence. Pass. If you do, improve your will. Okay. And it says, uh, okay. She does that. Okay. So he can try to find a cultist. Uh, they are minus one. Ugh. But I do have a couple clues to spin. I only spend one clue. See if I have anything that can help me. Okay, I spin a clue. Oh man, that was lucky. All right, so I spin my clue. Alright, and it says, uh, he, he made this card one ally asset. Okay, so I would have got an ally asset from him and spend one clue to place one Elder's token on this card. Okay, I'll spend my last clue, but we're only, we're only halfway done. It's not, it's not good enough. However, I think next turn, I may have to move to Miskatonic. Actually, there's a clue token there. So I have to spend another turn to do that. And, and then, that's it, man. There's nothing... There's nothing I can do about this. I th we're going to get... We're going to get screwed. Alright, let's go ahead and, and do the Mythos phase. So yes, it's going to move here. We're going to move... One, two, three. It's at zero. So yes, 
And we're going to have monster surges everywhere. So let's go ahead and put some monsters out. Okay. We'll have some clues. Fifteen. That's the now. Thirteen. Where the hell is thirteen at? Up here. Okay, the lead investigator loses all but one sanity. Well, that's terrible. Okay, so now we have to flip this. Place the mystery token. Right, okay, Dad got placed the mystery token on the city of the elder things and place five elders token on the sheet. All right, so let's put five elder tokens on this sheet. As an encounter, if four mysteries have been solved, an investigator in the city of Dark Maker from the Dark God, he draws and resolves a Dark God special encounter. When there are clues on this sheet equal to half, the final mysteries investigate the game. All right. After an investigator resolves an otherworld encounter, he may move to the plot two of Lang. Okay. Each time Doom would advance his card, one Elder's token from the sheets, and then if there are none, lose the game. All right. So we got a slim chance. Um. I feel like I forgot something though. What did I forget to do? I didn't forget to do anything, I guess. Uh, Alright, so we'll move her. Alright, so it's Joe's turn. Now Joe is going to stay there. He's going to uh, gain a focus. What is his local action? Uh, perform acquire assets. Uh, okay, he's going to try to acquire assets. Okay, uh, no, he's unsuccessful. Okay. Jenny is going to rest. And let's see, um, what do I want to do with her? Um, I try to get her a clue at Istanbul. That's the only other thing I can think of. Well, no. Let's uh, let's move her down. She may have to go help him there. So we're gonna move here. Okay, so Joe's going to have um, an encounter. He's going to fight the cultist again. No, no, no. He's got to get that clue. That's right. I forgot about that. Okay. Uh, you've been, managed to locate a survivor of the Miskatani expedition in a local sanitarium. He's willing to tell you what he saw beyond the mountains. Gain this clue. Okay. Uh, you can hardly bear to listen to the horrifying tale. All right. If we pass, we may get an additional clue. If we spend two sanity. Well... I don't know if I want to do that. Well, I didn't I didn't I didn't pass anyways. So, yeah. Alright, so that's his turn. She's at a C space. Alright, uh your ship becomes lost. God damn it. And dense fog when the mist finally you've somehow travel move one space and lose one sanity. Okay, well that's I, that's okay. I'll move one space down here. And but she has to lose one sanity. Okay, and that's the end of the turn. Let's draw another Mythos card, and we're going to move this here. And do we have? We have none of those, so we're going to have to put a gate on the board. It's going to be the pyramids. Now I'm, I have this thing here. This is going to. Move it to the nearest investigator, then he becomes delayed. Well, that's great. <sighs> Spawn one monster on a space that contains a cultist monster. 
Well, we have one cultist on the board, so... San Francisco, it's a clue. The heart of Africa gets a clue. There's clues everywhere. All right, now we got to put a monster on the space with that cultist. Here. Okay. Let's move our first player token is Jenny. She's delayed, so she can't move. All right, it's fine. Um. And Joe is, we know he's going to stay there, so he'll gain another focus. And he'll, I guess he'll test his, his asset action. Uh, he only got one success, so no. Okay, Jenny can't do anything, so uh, yeah, she just has to do a city counter here. Alright, you can, you can do what you can to alleviate the city's widespread poverty. Test influence. She failed. Oh my goodness. And you know what that's going to mean. <gasps> oh my goodness. If you fail, lose one sanity. Can she do anything? I'm going to have to spin a focus, man. I'm going to have to spin some focus. Fail. Fail. That's too focus. I failed. Oh, man. And there's nothing... You may add one to the result of a die. I don't think I got even close. No. So she is out. She's gone. She lost uh, all her sanity. So, oof. Well, that's terrible. We're going to have to move Doom 1 until that goes off. Yikes. Wow. Okay. She went crazy. All right, Joe's turn. And Joe's going to try to do the fourth final mystery. Uh, now, the cultist normally changes, but we still have to do it for the, the spell thing, I guess. It doesn't make any sense, but okay. All right, so I'm going to spin a focus. All right, got a six. It's good. So we passed. I will spend my clue, and I'll get rid of the ally that I would have got from him. And now we have completed the fourth mystery. Okay. So what I got to do now is I have to get to the city of the elder things, which it's not going to be a problem, but I have to spend clues. Now, there's no clues on that damn board. Yeah. No clues on the board. Okay. Well, let's go ahead. He's not going to make it run around. I met those cards. Okay, so let's move this here. Doom will advance one. So, one Doom token off the Doom track. We have some Reckoning effects. So, let's go ahead and take care of these. Roll a die. On a one or two, this guy moves one space to the nearest investigator. Okay, he doesn't. Hound of Tindalos to the nearest, then an investigator immediately encounters it. So let's immediately encounter the Hound of Tindalos. <sighs> oh, we have a wheel of Okay, he failed. So he's gonna lose two sanity. But we can test this. And he failed. Alright. Now we're going to fight this thing. <clears throat> Plus two, three, four, five, five combat. Minus one is four. Okay, well, um, you may re roll one die. Right, let's go ahead and re roll. Okay, well, okay, well, you know what? 
Yeah. All right. So uh, this thing has three. We're going to take two wounds. And we're going to put one wound on it. Here. Okay. This guy here. Uh, each investigator in a space or an adjacent space loses one health and one sanity. Well, that's terrible. Okay. Um, the witch here. Each investigator who has a cursed condition. Well, nobody has one. And let's see. This guy here. Move this monster one space towards the nearest investigator. So we'll move him, I guess, here. All right. So, so far, that's it for that. All right. Um, we have our amnesia. We passed, so we don't have to worry about that. We have. We don't get a clue. I, I really needed that clue. I might spin a focus to re-roll that because I need that clue. All right, I do get a clue. All right, so he gets a clue. Okay, the dark pack is fine. And that's it. Um, unfortunately, the lead investigator, well, that would be her. So she's already gone. All right, so that's all the reckoning. Oof. And let's spawn a new gate. City of the Elder Things. Well, guess what? That's not good. For each clue an investigator has, that investigator discards a clue unless he spends one health or one sanity. I need the freaking clue. So I'm going to have to spend discard one health. That's all I can do. Okay, so... Damn it. And this thing just popped up here. Okay, so it's his turn. He's the only one left. I think what I'm going to do is I only need to move two spaces, so I'm going to rest. And let me test for my amnesia. No. And then I'll move <coughs> here. And I have to fight this flying polyp thing. <coughs> All right. So, yeah. Okay, my will is two. Actually, I can roll an additional die because of the museum director. And I failed both of those. Alright, so that's two sanity loss. Now I have to fight this guy. Jeez. Alright. Colt, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, minus two is three. Jeez. Total fail. <clears throat> I can reroll one total fail. Total fail. So I take three damage. And I'm still alive, but good God. And so there's nothing I can do. I can't have... I mean, I can have an encounter there, I guess. No, I can't. I can't do anything. So that's the end of that turn. Last... Uh, almost last Mythos card. This is going to move here. We have one gate, two gate. Okay, so we have... Two gates of those. So two more Elders tokens are coming off. We have some Reckoning. And here we go. Um, start with him. Okay, he's going to stay there. The Dole. Okay, he's going to move here. The Witch, nobody's cursed. Um, this guy's fine. <clears throat> I remember what his was. Move. Okay, well he's gonna be there all right so there's that now let's see maybe we can gain a clue we have to test first let's test our, our will and we failed the amnesia yeah at some point gain a detained condition 
Okay. That's fine. I don't need to move anyways. Um, Alright, let's do the... I didn't get the clue I needed. The Dark Pact is... No worries. <laughs> Alright. Each investigator loses two health and two sanity unless he discards a blessed condition. Well, that's it. It's over with. That killed us. Uh, I'm going crazy. We were so close to winning. We had this game. Uh, I think it turned maybe three quarters in the way. And, oh. Is this freaking one where I had to get him all the way over here was what really got us. Whew. You know, you think you have this game won. Like, we had this game in hand for a lot of the game. We had a lot of gates getting wiped off the board. We had very few monsters. We had the Doom track up high, and then shh, things happen, and man, um, it flips on you. Well, you know, that's one of the things I love about this game. That is one of the things that is so fun about it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, another loss, but man, that was close. Rise of the Other Things, folks, from Eldritch Horror. Modern day classic is what this game is. And I hope to see you next time. Until then, 